Hey everyone, it's this Edmund Sean, and today on the tools we use, we're going to be covering part two of the Sys Internal series. Stay tuned. All right, so part one uh, was a little bit uh, rough around the edges, and that's okay. Part two is a little bit quicker, and we're only going to cover some of the tools inside the network utility section because most of them are command line tools and need a lot of different features that we just don't have in our environment currently to show off. So the first one we're actually going to use is called Active Directory Explorer. So what you can do is you can plug in your domain controller and a username and password that has access and see tons of great information about your domain without having to do a whole lot of work. And of course, it's going to be a little slow because my server is not that fast. Uh, but you can see all these different attributes and their configuration strings, when changed, when created, tons of interesting dates and information about the server and all of its attributes and, and things of that nature, which is really cool. And, you know, maybe you need to look this stuff up and, you know, I'm pretty sure you can see most of this if you, you know, view attributes. If you have advanced tools turned on in regular users and computers, you can see some of this stuff. So that's probably where most of this info comes from, but it's a quicker way to get to it without having to drill down a whole bunch of OUs deep. It takes a little time to load, but it's got all that stuff in there. Uh, and that is called Active Directory Explorer. The next one is Insight for Active Directory. So this is gonna show everything that's happening in our domain. Every time I'm clicking in this, it's capturing information about, you know, what they, what they're looking at, what they're doing. Did they request? Are they getting values, getting value links? Are they changing anything? Like we can see all of this information in here. And this is pretty cool. Now, obviously this is pretty much just coming from like event viewer, but this is a great way to look at it. And this gives me all the information about what I'm doing and what I'm looking at, which is really, really, really cool. Like this is, you know, I'm using adexplorer.exe. But look at stuff and if i click on that and i click on that and i go back in here there's probably going to be new stuff down at the bottom and you can click i think on these and it probably gives us a little more information again if we give it a second oh no we crashed it <laughs> unexpected um and the last one i want to go over from network utilities is tcp view so if you're familiar with something like netstep dash tulpn um, or however you like to use your net stat flags. This is a kind of a GUI version and it looks like we can do searches. Let's see if I hit DNS, look, there's me doing DNS lookups. Um, there's the DNS process running remote addresses that are coming in, you know, packet sent packets received. This is really cool stuff right here. Um, we can specifically just see, we can take out stuff. Like let's just look at UDP for IPv6. That's more than I thought there'd be. TCP for V for IP4. Yeah, there's a ton of stuff in here. Lots of things are using the network to do network related things. Uh, and this is really cool, but, uh, and this is an, an auto updating version as opposed to having to constantly refresh running Netstat over and over and over and over and over. And you can do filters. You can look at process properties. I'm afraid that's gonna crash something. You can resolve addresses, so. There we go. It did DNS lookups for all the addresses. Turns out that WinServe one is pretty much talking to itself. I'm not sure what that is supposed to be. Interesting, but it's waiting. So we we'll have to worry about that later. But this is a really cool little set of tools inside the network utilities portion of Sys internals. So I know we didn't show off a whole bunch of them. I do want to read off the rest of the list. So we covered AD Explorer and Active Directory Explorer for advanced viewing and editing. AD Insight, which is what crashed, that was collecting all the information about our Active Directory and what our clients were doing in there. I probably crashed because the system's not that big. There's a tool in here called AD Restore, which will undelete server 2003 Active Directory objects. I don't know why you would need that, but it is available. Pipe list displays named pipes on your system, including the number of maximum instances and active instances for each pipe. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know what that means. I don't work with pipes very often. PS file, see what files are open remotely. Again, we don't have any network shares, so it would be really hard for us to open a file remotely. Uh, PS ping, which measures network requirements. I'm assuming this is a lot like the normal ping utility with some extra features. PS tools, uh, the PS tools suite includes command line utilities for, listening, for listing the processes running on local or remote computers, running processes remotely, rebooting computers, and dumping event logs and more. 
So essentially PowerShell stuff. Um, share enumeration, scan file shares on your network, then view their security settings to close security holes. No network shares, can't really show that off, I apologize. TCP view, which is what you're, the last thing we're looking at. And then there's a who is utility, which that came with Windows anyway. Maybe this one's got some extra features. Um, so don't forget sys internals. I will put the link again down in the description specifically for this section two of these tools. And yeah, that's, I mean, that's pretty much it. So, oh, there goes Chick-A-1. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. I uh, hope you are enjoying this series. I do want to finish it. I know that not everyone is super into really random Windows and Linux utility tools, but I think this is a good tool set for everyone to know exists. And if you have alternatives that you like more from the, the tools I show, let us know in the comments so that we can review them and talk about them and add them to our list of uh, tools in our tool bag. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy what you see, and we will see you in the next one. Thanks.